you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 28th second sunday of lent let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 9 verses 2 to 10 Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be the here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice, This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the son of man had risen from the dead so they kept the matter to themselves questioning what this rising from the dead could mean the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends in jesus christ The strange experience of the transfiguration described in the gospel took place very soon after Jesus had been recognized by his disciples as the Messiah. This acknowledgement on their part was wonderful breakthrough and discovery in their relationship with their teacher and master. This had been immediately followed by Jesus telling them he would be rejected by their political and religious leaders and made to suffer die before rising the third day it is clear that this came as a terrible shock to the disciples their vision of the messiah was a glorious victorious king defeating all the enemies of israel the idea that messiah would be rejected made to suffer and die at the hands of his own people was simply unthinkable it was a total contradiction of the whole concept of the messiah as savior king now it seems that this special experience is being given to balance out the picture only a small inner circle is chosen for the experience it seems that these three disciples including the leader peter are given a glimpse of the real jesus to help them through the dark days ahead full of uh, biblical images it is a f- scene full of biblical images The disciples are brought by Jesus a solitary mountain. Tradition identifies the mountain as Dogo. But it does not really matter. Mountains are traditional places where God is to be found. Moses delivered God's law from the Mount Sinai. Jesus, the new Moses, delivered the new law from the mountain. Sermon on the Mount. There was also Mount Camel linked with the prophet Elijah on the mountain in today's first reading where Abraham took his son Isaac to be sacrificed. Jesus is transformed with the dazzling light of God's glory. Yes, we remember how Moses on the Sinai, Mount Sinai, could not look on the face of God. With Jesus appears Moses and Elijah. Moses represents the law and Elijah the prophets together they pre- represent the whole tradition of God's people in being seen take, talking with Jesus it is understood that they are endorsing fully all that Jesus says and thus as being a continuation of the tradition they represent we now have peter's uh, impetuous reaction he is totally overcome by what he realize, realizes in here is here equally privileged experience lord it is wonderful for us to be here he suggests that three shrines to be set up in honor of jesus moses and elijah to commemorate the vision 
the gospel comments that he did not know what he was talking about. There never would be a shrine to Jesus except in the hearts of his followers. Amen. May God bless 